Hi there, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales. Just doing you a short walk around video of the Moody 42 centre cockpit catch that we have here listed for sale. Um, she is uh, had a lot of uh, seagoing experience with definitely with the last two owners, uh, and the hull is looking in lovely condition. She has just been lifted um, out of the water, uh, and obviously the anti foul might look bad, but obviously it's, it's been doing its job, and obviously it's due for a re anti foul. The other thing with this boat is it has got the bow thruster as well, uh, so it does make just handling her a little better, especially with obviously the keel that she has on her. So I'm going to take you around the outside of the boat to give you an idea of the condition of the hull and everything, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll step inside and uh, have a look aboard and see what accommodation and, and other parts that she has to offer. Um, so I'll take you around, obviously you can see the prop there, um, coming around through the rudder, I'll try and get you a shot at the back of the boat as well. Just bear with while I turn around. Here you go. Um, the hull has recently been re uh, sprayed. Um, that was due to a mooring uh, pontoon coming free uh, in a storm at Brightling Sea. Um, and it was done at Fox's Yard. And uh, it's made a, a very nice f finish on the boat, giving, her, giving the uh, hull a new lease of life. Uh, it does look quite stunning. Right, so let's uh, I'm gonna come back round and then we're going to climb on board uh, and then you can have a look at uh, what she has to offer in terms of depth layout and so forth. I'll just give you that one more shot of uh, a look up. Obviously on the mast there you can see the radar and so forth. Right, we are now safely aboard. Um, obviously I couldn't film while walking up the ladder. So I'm going to take you around the, the deck here, try and show you as much as possible, and I'll keep sort of tilting the camera uh, so that you can see uh, what she's got in terms of equipment that I may forget to mention. Um, also down here, we've got the electric windlass, uh, which is obviously very handy, saves time to pull all that chain back up. Uh, coming backwards there is a life raft. Obviously we can't confirm on a servicing and uh, so forth would always recommend you have a life raft serviced if it wasn't new take it down deep they've got the on the decks here we've got a teak like a flexi teak on the boat which makes the just finishes the hull off uh, the decks off just makes it look a bit fresher um, and we'll just walk along down so you hopefully get a good idea of condition obviously she is a 1978 boat she has been used uh, i know the, the current owners have been to the caribbean and so forth on the website we have got an extensive uh, list of works that the current owners had done on us since 2014 so uh, that will obviously if you have a read through give you an idea of where she's been uh, and what uh, the current owners have had done along the way so hope for the video you can see I'm just trying to keep it fairly slow whilst we're up here just to give you a good uh, view of all the equipment on board nice thing with the Moody 42cc is this centre cockpit uh, with a hard top at the front here it's a really deep and safe feeling cockpit, it must be said. The boat's also equipped with solar panels as well, and she has got a generator. I think the generator is about 4, four kVA from memory. Just under here, it's not a broken thing. It's been used just to uh, stop water getting into, into the winch. We've also got this canopy that closes up at the back, so in extremely bad weather, you can feel safe by being quite deep inside the boat, uh, as well as staying dry. And also, if you are cruising in hot climates, it keeps the sun off your head as well. So here at the helm, it's got your helm wheel and your engine dial for the Perkin 75 horsepower that she has. Uh, and you've also got the control for your bow thruster as well. She's uh, obviously got some of the original equipment from when, she, when the boat was new. But we also have some updated equipment as well. And as we can see, there is a, uh, a very recent uh, autopilot by Ray Marie. We've got deep storage under this uh, locker here. Very deep, in fact, goes a long way down. Um, you've also got storage behind here, behind there as well. Uh, I'll sort of take bits and pieces off just to give you an idea. Very old compass just up here, look. There is obviously more dials across the top here as well as some speakers and so forth. Right, let's step inside. When you step inside the boat, the first part you come to is obviously the saloon. 
and also the galley, which we'll move on to in just a moment. So here we've got a, a U-shaped sleep uh, seating area, again with storage underneath and storage above. Plenty of space to put your bits and pieces on here. Um, certain additions have obviously been added by the owners over the years, um, but at least it, it's uh, well equipped for long passage sailing. Again, you've got uh, your chart plotter down here. Obviously, that was updated at some point because that is a Raymarine C120. Um, it's not it's not current. Uh, well, it, it will still work and everything. I just you need to check about availability of charts on that device. But you've also got repeat with some of the other uh, equipment down here as well, and a nice chart table here. So what we'll do is we'll just pan around and we'll come to the galley. Obviously, there's plenty of places for bits and pieces to be stored. Uh, on the galley, it's had an additional top put just here, which now houses uh, a microwave, which will obviously work off the generator or when you're on shore power. Uh, along the galley, we've got your gas oven with um, gas hot, full burner ring. Um, and then as we go down, we've also then got your top opening uh, fridge. Okay, once we're down here, we'll go to the owner's cabin, which is at the stern. Uh, the benefits of a centre cockpit boat allow you to have a nice big cabin in the aft. And uh, as you see, as you walk across here, brings you in. Got a double berth, or what can uh, can be, I believe, taken down to make it two into a V berth, so it could be two singles. Ensuite shower as well, uh, with a manual sea toilet in here. The, this has its own separate holding tank. The um, forward uh, head has its own separate tank as well. Now what we will do is I'll just try and flick uh, these switches so you can see into the engine room. Well, in fact, I think it's an easy to open this door here. So as we come in, we've got uh, tool storage. I don't know if this is going to work. Without the without some light in there, um, and I don't know how that one turns on. So, uh, but I can obviously supply images as and when required for you. So let me just shut that, and we'll go forward. Now, Moody are a very solid built boat, uh, so a, a good boat for doing long distance passages. Um, they're a very beamy boat. Uh, I've experienced the Moody's all, all my most of my life. In fact, pretty much all the life. Um, so it's uh, yeah, they're a good, well-built boat, very beamy, very good in a in a rough sea. Then as we've got here, we've got uh, two singles in their own separate cabin uh, with a dresser type uh, arrangement just here as well. Just background. It's also got a hatch. They've got covers on at the moment. Uh, obviously, just keeping the boats as in good condition and keeping the elements out and then we've got your forward cabin here again a v-bear so it's two singles or uh, a double again plenty of storage up in here um, and as i come round, you then get just behind the door here you've also got storage for your clothes and such like and there's drawers down just down here so the only other room we need to go to which we haven't been to yet is the second head or what you know is a day head in fairness. So this is the day head, and in this day head it has uh, an electric flush seat toilet. So I hope the video gives you a good idea of uh, the layout of the boat, obviously the condition and the feel of the boat as well. Um, obviously any questions, there is a lot of information we've put on the website for you about this boat. Um, but please feel free to give us a call um, and we can go from there. Many thanks for watching. This is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales.